Okay, another uh, disaster myth, and this is uh, <coughs> particularly relevant to what's going on in Haiti. If you're looking at uh, what the media is putting out, they're saying that uh, there's going to be widespread um, epidemics, and there's going to be um, a catastrophic outbreak of exotic diseases due to all the cadavers on the street, dead bodies everywhere. And uh, this is completely going against what uh, um, disaster experts, uh, particularly in the medical field, and the uh, experts with the World Health Organization and the Pan American Health Organization. And uh, I know these guys have gotten bad rap lately because of the handling of H1N1 uh, flu epidemic, but that doesn't detract for from uh, previous. Um, studies that they've done into uh, natural disasters and things like that. So uh, the belief that dead bodies uh, pose some kind of serious health risk um, is uh, not true. Okay, And it often leads to the authorities uh, wanting to dispose of bodies and burning bodies and uh, doing mass graves as soon as possible. And uh, unfortunately um, such actions uh, only leads to more suffering uh, uh, by the uh, survivors, especially people who have uh, lost loved ones because they're not able to uh, grieve. Um, uh, they're not able to go through that grieving process. And you can imagine yourself, uh, if you have a particular religious belief, if somebody else comes in and says, we're just going to bury your uh, loved ones and dispose of them, we're going to burn them up, we're going to do whatever it takes to uh, get rid of these bodies. And that might be even more traumatic for yourself, especially if you have a religious belief does not, that does not mesh with uh, what's going on with these uh, supposed experts that come in. Uh, so that is something definitely to think about as well. So big myth is that um, cadavers dead bodies will lead to an outbreak of uh, epidemics or uh, serious exotic diseases. Uh, they will not. Uh, what leads to these kinds of diseases are uh, unsanitary conditions. Okay. So what you need to do uh, to prevent these kinds of uh, uh, epidemics or uh, exotic disease outbreaks is you need, just need to educate people in proper sanitary uh, techniques and also try to improve uh, uh, the uh, clean water and uh, also how to dispose of uh, trash and all those other kinds of things because when uh, any disaster happens there's going to be a lot of rubbish piled up. There's probably still rubbish piled up from Hurricane Katrina uh, down in Louisiana and uh, it takes a long time to get rid of all this junk that's around. Um, but um, the main thing is just get clean water. Okay, dispose of um, waste, uh, particularly uh, excrements and uh, all that other stuff that people really don't want to talk about. But that is the uh, main killer that creates cholera and things like that. Improve sanitary conditions, and you will not have epidemics. Um, it really does not have a lot to do with dead bodies unless you dump a dead body into a water supply.